Heavenly Father once again Baba mwabinguni mara nyingine tena I want to thank you for this afternoon Tunataka kushukuru kwa mchana wa leo The Lord you've gathered your children here again Kwa sababu Bwana umekusanya watoto wako hapa tena And you've been faithful with us all the way from when we began Umekuwa mwaminifu kwetu Bwana tangu tulipoanza And I believe Lord you'll be with us in this final service in this place Naamini kwamba Bwana utatupa baraka tena kwa ibada hii ya mwisho mahali hapo. So I pray that God will anoint us once more. Tunaomba kwamba Bwana tutupaka mafuta tena mara nyingine. And strengthen us in no use away. Na ututie nguvu kwa njia zako mwenyewe. Zisofanika. Bwana, before us are these handkerchiefs. Mbele zetu kuna hivi vitambaa. Acts 19 shows the Lord they prayed over those handkerchiefs. Maya tendo 19 inaonyesha Paulo aliombea hivi vitambaa. And Lord you heal whoever they were placed on. Na Bwana utaomba utamponya yote ambaye atawekewa kitambaa. Because you heal you can heal again today. Kwa sababu uliponya unaweza kuponya tena leo. Let your power be vested into these handkerchiefs. Hebu nguvu zako na zikaingie ndani ya vitambaa hivi. The Lord will bring deliverance wherever they will be placed. Kwa sababu Bwana utaleta ufunguzi kufunguliwa kwa popote vitakavyowekwa. And bless your word in our hearts again. Bariki neno lako mioyoni mwetu tena. In Jesus name we pray. Kwa jina la Yesu tuwaomba. Amen. Amina. And we shall turn to our Bibles once more. Tutafungua Biblia zetu mara nyingine tena. In the book of Judge, I mean Joshua chapter 18. Katika kitabu cha Joshua 18. In verse 2 mstari wa pili And there remained among the children of Israel seven tribes which had not yet received their inheritance Zilisalia katika wana wa Israeli kabila saba ambazo hazijapewa bado urithi wao hazijagawanywa urithi wao bado And Joshua said unto the children of Israel how long are ye slack to go to possess the land which the Lord God of your fathers has given you Yeshua akauliza Israeli akasema je hata lini mtakuwa walegevu katika kuingia kwenu na kumiliki hiyo nchi ambayo yeye Bwana Mungu wa baba zenu amewapa Now I want you to notice that sasa nataka utambue kwamba that is not by chance that seven tribes had not yet got their inheritance kwamba haikuwa kwa kwa bahati mbaya kabila saba zilikuwa bado hazijachukua urithi wao. The seven tribes were standing for the seven church ages. Hizi kabila saba ziliwakilisha nyakati saba za kanisa. <laughs> It is our day. Na hii ni siku yetu sisi. To get our inheritance. Kupata urithi wetu sisi. So seven tribes out of 12. Kwa hiyo kabila saba katika 12 had not yet possessed bado zilikuwa zijamiliki and yet they had conquered 31 kings altogether hata hivyo walikuwa wamewashinda wafalme 31 moja but of the 31 kings lakini hao wafalme 31 moja that land belonged to only five tribes hiyo nchi ilikuwa ni kwa ajili ya makabila matano tu ambayo ilipatikana So all the rest of the land that was designated for Israel was not yet conquered. Kwa hiyo nchi nyingine iliyobakia ambayo ilikuwa imekusudiwa kwa jamaa wa Israeli ilikuwa bado haijachukuliwa. Kabila saba. A type of seven church ages. Mfano wa nyakati saba za kanisa. In the New Testament. Kwenye agano jipya. Under the Joshua ministry. Chini ya huduma ya Yeshua. We are to possess our land. Tunamiliki nchi yetu. And Joshua is saying, how why are you slack? Na Joshua anasema kwa nini mko walegevu from going to possess the land kutoka kwenda kumiliki nchi Now I want you to notice something strange is happening here Nataka mtambue kitu fulani cha kigeni kinatendeka hapa When you come um, in, the, in, in the same book of Joshua chapter 16 Unapokuja kwenye kitabu hiki hiki cha Joshua sura ya 16 verse 10 mstari wa 10 The Bible says Biblia and they drove not out the Canaanites that dwelt in Gaza but the Canaanites dwelt among the Ephraimites unto this day and serve under tribute Now hawakuwatoa wakanani 
waliokuwa wakikaa gezeri lakini hawa kanani waliketi kati ya Ifraimu hata hivi leo wakawa watumishi wa kufanya kazi za shokoa that proud populous educated high minded tribe lile kabila lilokuwa linajivuna lenye elimu ambalo linajiinua failed to drive out the Canaanites lilishindwa kuwaondoa wa Kanani they are bigness they are their weight of words comes in the spoken ukubwa wao na uzito wao maneno yao ulikuwa ni wa kutamka but when it comes to action lakini ilipofika kwenye kitendo they are a bunch of young a bunch of failures ni kundi la watu walioshindwa And now verse 12 of, of chapter 17. Na sasa mstari wa 12 wa sura 17. We see another one of the children of Joseph. Tunaona mwingine wa watoto wa Yusufu. We see this one was Ephraim. Tunaona huyu wa kwanza alikuwa ni Ephraim. Now we are seeing Manasse. Sasa tunamuona Manasse. Yet the children of Manasse could not drive out the inhabitants of those cities. But the Canaanites would dwell in the land lakini wana wa manase hawakuweza kuwafukuza wenyeji wa miji hiyo bali hao wa kanani walijikaza ili wakae katika nchi hiyo and then in verse 14 is when they came and complained na kwenye mstari wa kwenye mstari wa 14 ndipo walipokuja kulalamika the land is not enough we are squished we are under oppression it is not enough but you have left the enemy among you na wakati mna adui miongoni mwenu. May God bless his word and Bwana bariki neno lake. Hebu mnaweza mketi. Glory be to God. Utukufu wewe kwa Mungu. And you know they, they they came up with some kind of concoction of ideologies. Unajua walikuwa na kama kundi fulani la mawazo au idea fulani sio kundi it's a mixture a concoction of kama different ideo, ideologies walikuwa na kama mchanganyiko wa mawazo na na nia mbalimbali mbali. and they started instead of routing expelling and killing these people badala ya kuwa piga na kuwafukuza na kuwaua wale wenyeji watu they started now saying we strike a deal sasa wakaanza kuambia wale wenyeji tupatane. You are going to work under us. Nyie sasa mtafanya kazi chini yetu hapa hapa. You know when you have a disease of supremacy you are in trouble. Unajua ukiwa na ugonjwa wa ukubwa una shida. You will even compromise with devils. Utapatana na mashetani because you want a big number to rule over. Kwa sababu wewe unataka watu wengi ili utawale. Yes sir. You will allow devils in the church? Utaruhusu mapepo kanisani because you want a big number. Kwa sababu unataka watu so that you show the other people that you look at the people that I have. Ili uonyeshe wengine tazama watu ambao ninao mimi. When you have a bunch of rotten eggs. Wakati una kundi la mayai yaliyooza. Well, that is not a good way to begin this afternoon. Hiyo sio njia nzuri ya kuanza mchana wa leo. Glory to God. Utukufu uwe kwa Mungu. They were accommodating the Canaanites and all these other people. They were accommodating. Walikuwa wanawakaribisha wa Kanaani na hawa watu wengine. Incorporating them into the possession that was allotted for them. Na kuwajumuisha kwenye urithi uliokuwa umepangiwa kwa ajili yao pekee. And yet were not ashamed to go and complain to Joshua. Hata hivyo hawakuona aibu haya kwenda kulalamika kwa Joshua. That the land is not enough. Kwamba inchi haitutoshi. That's why Joshua was saying. Ndio sababu Joshua alikuwa akisema. Well and good. Vema powerful, strong, numerous as you are, go and fight. The land is there. Ninyi watu wenye nguvu na watu wengi kadri mlivyo, sasa nendeni mkapigane. Now this was contrary to what God had told them. Hii ilikuwa kinyume na kile Mungu alichokuwa amewaambia. Compromise is not part of God's language. Kupatana sio sehemu ya lugha ya Mungu. No, hapana. We are not here to compromise with the devil. Hatuko hapa kupatana na shetani. That's why Moses said. Ndio sababu Musa alisema. The lead of the first Exodus. 
kiongozi wa kutoka kwa kwanza. You know what he said? When, when, he, said, when Pharaoh said, wakati Pharaoh alisema, you shall go the only elder ones. Sasa mtenda nyinyi peke yenu. But you leave your children here. Lakini mtacha watoto wenu hapa. Wake zenu. Na wanyama wenu. And Moses said, Na Musa alisema, we shall not leave behind even a hoof. Hatutoacha hata ukwato. Not even one hoof of a cow. Hata ukwato wa ngombe haubaki. As long as that cow was ours. Ili mradi tu huyo ngombe ni wa kwetu. The day we shall go. Si kutakaoondoka. We shall go with everything. Tutaondoka na kila kitu. No compromise. Hakuna kupatana. Hallelujah. No compromise with the enemy. Hakuna kupatana na adui. No peace deals. Hakuna makubaliano ya amani. No negotiations. Hakuna mapatano No retreat, no surrender. Hakuna kurudi nyuma, hakuna kujisalimisha. We have to go forward. Tunapaswa kwenda mbele. That is our God. Huyo ni Mungu wetu. If you want to love God, kama unataka kumpenda Mungu, and if you want God to love you, na kama unataka Mungu akupende, and to always get pleased because of you, na mara zote afurahishwe kwa sababu yako. You know his nature. Jua asili yake you know the way, learn the way he does things. Jifunze jinsi anavyofanya mambo. Then you'll please him. Ndipo utampendeza. Now you see sasa tunaona they are beginning to strike a compromise. Wanaanza kufikia mapatano. We shall let you people stay with us. Tutawaacha nyie mkae pamoja nasi if you agree to pay tax to us. Kama mtakubali kutulipa sisi kodi. And to become our servants. Na mfanyike watumishi wetu. So whenever we beg on you, you come. Kwa kwa sababu ili tunapowaita mnakuja. Because we are used to being bosses. We don't know how to work. Kwa sababu sisi tulikuwa mabosi hatujui namna ya kufanya kazi. So we need servants. Tunahitaji watumishi. Those who can prepare the food and bring for us on the table. Wale ambao wanaanza kutupikia chakula tuletee mezani. Look after our animals. Watu chungia wanyama wetu. And cut for us wood, timber and firewood and bring for us. Waende wakakate miti huko watuletee. We want servants. Tunataka watumishi. We are bosses by nature. Sisi kwa asili yetu ni mabosi. So when you are born with that nature of being bossy, big. Kwa hiyo wakati wakati umezaliwa na hiyo asili ya kuwa bosi au mkubwa mtu wa juu. When you are proud, unapokuwa na kiburi, do you know that even fasting looks like stupid to you when you are proud? Unajua hata kufunga na kuomba inaonekana kitu cha kijinga ukiwa na kiburi. How can I leave my food? Ninawezaje kuacha chakula changu? One full day. Niache siku nzima. I have got the money. Wakati hela iko mfukoni. I have got the meat in the fridge. Nina nyama kwenye fridge. There is bread, there is milk, there is this. Kuna mkate, kuna maziwa, kuna hiki. I'm not eating. Na mimi eti ni sile. It's very hard for people. Ni ngumu sana kwa watu. They think it's you, you must be poor, you must be lacking the money to, to fast. Wanawaza inakubidi we maskini au ukose pesa ili ufunge. Hey. The rich ones don't want to come for from night prayers, no. Wale matajiri hawaji kwenye ma, maombi they ya usiku. Wao ni wakubwa. They have the money. Wana pesa. They have the good jobs. Wana kazi nzuri. They can go and work overtime. Wana get more money. Wanaweza kwenda kufanya kazi muda wa ziada wapate hela zaidi kazini. Not come to church. Lakini sio kuja kanisani. Mm. Big. Watu wakubwa. So because they are big. Kwa sababu ni wakubwa. They can compromise on the word. Wanaweza kupatana kwenye ulimwengu. To maintain their status. Ili wadumishe hadhi yao. You are big. Wewe ni mkubwa. And you are a, a, a woman in office. Na wewe ni mwanamke ofisini. You want to present yourself as a corporate figure. Unataka kujionesha mwenyewe kama mwanamke wa mtawala fulani kwenye the, the way you walk should be corporate lady like. Jinsi unavyotembea unataka uwe ni mwanamke mtawala wa kisasa. Fashionable. Na ukiwa stylish. Ukiwa wa, wa style na mtindo. At least conforming to the standards of the day. Angalau uendane na, na, na kiwango cha siku ya hii ya leo. 
not too old fashioned usio wakale sana so i have to bring my skirt a little bit like to the knee ko inabidi nipandishe skirt yangu angalau ifike hata goti to match my status my ili, position ili hadhi yangu na cheo changu viendane na hii nguo i can't dress like some old film say old looking woman somewhere siwezi kuvaa nguo ndefu kama mwanamke wa zamani wa kale huko mzee come on I am a madani woman. Angalia mimi ni mwanamke wa kisasa with brains that are running like Mina a computer. Mimi kili zinazotembeza nafanya kazi kama computer. I don't care what I preach. Sijali wanahubiri nini. But I should also present myself as lady like acceptable to society. Lakini inabidi nijionyeshe kama mwanamke ambaye anakubalika so kwenye jamii. So that I can present the test that the people want ili niweze kuonesha ladha ambayo watu wanataka kuona huko nje. Yeah, yeah, okay. Ndio. And you young man you know what you are doing? Na nyie mnajua mnafanyaje? You want to conform yourself a little bit in between the world and the world. Na nyie mnataka kujiweka katikati ya ulimwengu na neno. And then you cut your hair in a way that is stylish. Unakata nywele zako kwa namna ambayo ni ya mtindo fulani. And then here completely off here completely off and then you remain with this huku. and make some fun of us here hapa unafanya kama matuta fulani hivi What is that? Hiyo ni nini? Because the world is doing it. Kwa sababu ulimwengu unafanya hayo. And you don't want to be completely away from the world. Na wao hutaki kuwa nje ulimwengu kabisa. So you strike a deal between the world and Kwa the world. Unatengeneza mapatano kati ya ulimwengu na neno. So that I'm not the world but I'm also not the what. Kwa hiyo si, mimi sio ulimwengu alafu mimi sio neno. I have to be somewhere. Na kuwa tu mahali fulani. And create a missing link between the two extremes. Na mimi sasa niwe ni kiunganisho kinachokosekana kati ya hizi mbili but god kwamba mungu cast the connection mungu aliyekata mawasiliano and he put an enmity na akaweka uadui between the woman is a seed kati ya mzao wa mwanamke au mbegu wa mwanamke and serpent is a seed na mbegu ya nyoka au mzao wa nyoka there should be an enmity kuna pasa kuwe na uadui in between kati kati i will put an enmity lakini wewe nitaweka nitaweka uadui enemiti uadui between the woman is a seed kati ya mbegu au mzao wa mwanamke which is Jesus Christ the one Yesu Kristo neno and the serpent is a seed na mbegu au mzao wa nyoka but now the devil wants you to become hybrid sasa shetani anataka uwe chotara between the two seeds kati ya hizi mbegu mbili the seed of the world, the world and the seed of the world mbegu ya neno na mbegu ya ulimwengu and you know the difference between the world and the world na unajua tofauti kati ya ulimwengu na neno only one are a letter ni herufi moja tu katika kiingereza ambayo ni elo kwenye kiingereza which is last ambayo ni tamaa yeah dio last tamaa bring last into the word it becomes the world ukileta tamaa kwenye neno inakuwa ulimwengu mhm ndio yes and that's why these days we put on this tight fitting trousers ndio maana siku hizi mnavaa hizi suruali ambazo zinabana hivi eh yeah because the world is doing it kwa sababu ulimwengu unavaa hivi you want also a fitting trouser fitting trouser like women want fitting dresses na wewe unataka suruali nao kutoshea yeah. kama vile wanawake wanavyotaka skirt ambayo inatoshea very tight you want how even the leg went through ambayo inabana kiasi kwamba unajiuliza hivi mguu lipitaje hapo Maybe you will not invite Pastor Maira again. Labda haumtomwalika mchungaji Maira tena. You have helped me. Mmenisaidia. Haleluya! Haleluya! Ore! Glory to God. Utukufu kwa Mungu because of prestige. Kwa sababu ya hadhi fulani. I cannot look like that old funky, old fashioned man. Siwezi kuonekana kama yule mtu wa mtindo wa kale. I have to look like a little bit near the fashion, the trend. Ninataka kuonekana karibu kidogo na mfumo mm-hmm. au mtindo wa sasa. And even now the high heels are coming back on women. Na hata sasa hivi viatu vya mchuchumio au vyenye kiini you know, kirefu vinarudi be, kanisani. Be, because they look trendy, fashionable. Kwa sababu vinaonekana ni vya kisasa. And you have to look like you 
Paul, you you sell or you are sellers to the world. Na unaonekana kama vile wao unajiuza kwa ulimwengu. So that the world also accepts you somehow. Ili ulimwengu angalau kwa namna fulani ukukubali. So if I am completely away from the world. Kwa hiyo nikitoka kabisa kwenye ulimwengu. I will lose my status. Nitapoteza hadhi yangu. And you know it's the age of status you had yesterday. Na status. Una, na unajua hadhi ni nini ulisikia jana? Status. Hadhi. Oh oh. Mlisikia mlisikia status za kwenye WhatsApp. The two tribes. Makabila mawili. The chief speakers. Wale wanenaji wakuu. The proud ones. Wale wa kujivuna. They failed to cast out the devil. Walishindwa kutoa mapepo. And they compromised with the people whom they were supposed to kill. Nao walipatana na watu ambao walipaswa kuwaua. They struck a deal with the enemy. Wao wakaingia makubaliano na adui. Completely contradicting what God told them. Kitu ambacho kilikuwa kinapingana moja kwa moja na kile Mungu alichowaambia. Let's go back to the Bible. Hebu turudi kwenye Biblia. Brother, brother, brother Abraham, where are you bringing these things from? Ndugu Maina, kwa nini unaleta haya mambo? You go to here the book of Numbers. Hebu twende kwenye kitabu cha Hesabu. Numbers chapter 33. Hesabu sura ya 33. Hallelujah. Numbers chapter 33. Hesabu sura 33. Let's begin from verse 51. Hebu tuanzie mstari wa 51. Speak unto the children of Israel and say unto them when you pa- you are passed over Jordan into the land of Canaan. Nena naona Waisraeli waambie mtakapovuka mtu wa Yordan na kuingia nchi ya Kanaani. Mhm. What do you do? Mtafanyeje? Then you shall drive out all not some. Ndipo mtakao poa fukuza. You shall drive out all the inhabitants of the land from before you. Ndipo mtakao poa fukuza wenyeji wote sio baadhi. Wenyeji wote wa nchi hiyo mbele yenu. And destroy all their pictures. Na mtayaharibu mtaharibu picha zao zote. Pictures. Picha zao. Oh oh. Yeah. You go to Instagram these days and you see the pictures believers are looking at. Nenda Instagram na utaona picha ambazo waaminiwa wanaangalia. Pictures that you were supposed to destroy. Picha ambazo ungepaswa kuziharibu. Pictures of naked women, naked men. Picha za wanaume au wanawake walio uchi. Videos of perversion. Video ambazo zina mapotovu. Every picture which is contrary to the word was supposed to be destroyed. Kila picha iliyokuwa kinyume na neno liposa iharibiwe. Even your photos. Hata picha zako mwenyewe. The ones you put on when you had trousers. Zile ulizovaa ulipokuwa na suruali. Because you were wearing an abomination. Destroy it. Ziharibu kwa sababu ulikuwa mada ulimwengu ziharibu. Why do you keep them? Kwa nini unaziacha? The other photo Zile picha with Zipora the other girlfriend you had when you were in high school. Ukiwa na ule rafiki yako wa kike ulipokuwa unasoma shule ya sekondari. You still have it. Bado unayo hiyo picha. Why? Kwa nini? Old memories, old 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 kumbukumbu za kale. But you want old memories but you don't want old devils to disturb you. Una kumbukumbu za kale lakini hutaki mapepo ya kale yakusumbue. You have photos in your albums. Una picha kwenye albamu yako. Photos that remind you of your sinful nature. Picha zinazokukumbusha asili yako ya dhambi. With earrings dangling from your ears. Ukiwa na hereni zinazonenginia masikioni mwako. Yeah, when Hiyo. you have them old tight minis on your legs. Ukiwa na zile nguo fupi za kubana miguuni mwako. And you were touching your thigh and admiring that. Na ulikuwa unagusa paja lako hivi unajiangalia unashangaa unafurahia. Una When Mr. Frank was looking at you in the Wak- photo. Wakati bwana Frank alikuwa anakutazama kwenye picha. And you have kept that one. Na umeihifadhi hiyo. You have kept that one. Umeihifadhi hiyo. Hallelujah. Why have you kept them? Kwa nini umeziacha hizo? Pictures of your girlfriends. Picha za marafiki zako wa kike. Pictures of your boyfriends. Picha za marafiki zako wa kiume. Pictures when you were smoking. Picha ulipokuwa unavuta sigara. Hey. Pictures when you were holding a bottle of beer. Picha ambazo kwa umeshika chupa ya pombe. You still have them. Bado unazo. 
Because it was your birthday. Kwa sababu ilikuwa siku yako ya kuzaliwa. What is birthday to you? What is birthday? Kuzaliwa ni nini kwako? Do you know that you, you you we have become more pagan than Christians by birthdays? Unajua tunafanyika wapagani zaidi kuliko wakristo kwa sherehe za kuzaliwa. Show me an believer in the Bible who celebrated birthday. Nionyeshe muamini yote kwenye Biblia aliyesherekea siku ya kuzaliwa. Nionyeshe. It was only pagans. Walikuwa wapagani peke yao. It was Herod. Alikuwa ni Herod and on his birthday he killed the prophet John. Na kwenye siku yake ya kuzaliwa alimuua nabii Yohana. Yeah. Hallelujah. And it was Pharaoh. Na alikuwa Farao. And on his birthday. Na kwenye siku yake ya kuzaliwa he killed one of the bakers. Aliwaua mmoja wa wapiti wake. Those are only the two people who celebrated birthday. Hao ni watu wawili pekee walioshirikia siku ya kuzaliwa. And on that birthday they killed somebody. Na kwenye siku zao za kuzaliwa walibua mtu fulani. But you worship the day you were born. Kwamba unaabudu siku uliyozaliwa. Not the day Jesus came into you. Sio siku Yesu alipokuja ndani yako. Who are you? Wewe ni nani? Haleluya. Lore, you were born so what? Ulizaliwa ili iweje. If it was not the grace of God. Kama si neema ya Mungu. How many people are born uh, and they die cursing that they were born ni watu wangapi waliozaliwa na wanakufa wakilaani kwamba walizaliwa if it was not a grace of god kama sio neema ya mungu what we say na unajua tunasemaje this is my day hii ni siku yangu this is my day hii ni siku yangu and they put cakes and this so and, 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 and pentecostal so called mu- gospel music na mziki wa kisasa wa kipentecostal unaoitwa waindili And then you are you must dance Na because it is your birthday kwa sababu nisikia kwa kuzaliwa because it is your birthday kwa sababu nisikia kwa kuzaliwa and then they are clapping for you na wengine wanakupigia makofi chop 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 haleluya glory thank you jesus hey hey haleluya and you spend a lot of money on that day na wewe unatumia pesa nyingi sana hiyo siku foolish useless photos na una unapiga au unaonyesha picha nyingi za kipumbavu zisizo na maana pastor maira what doctrine is this this is not a doctrine mchungaji maira hii ni fundisho gani hii sio fundisho i'm only saying show me a scripture na kuambia nionyeshe andiko that says you should celebrate your birthday ambalo linakuambia sherekea siku yako ya kuzaliwa where is it liko wapi haleluya which apostle ni mtume gani? Christmas is not even done by Christians. In the Bible, no. Christmas hata haikuwepo kwenye Biblia. Jesus never celebrated. Yes, hata celebrated. Hata watumishi wake hawakusherekea. It's not even the birthday of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hata sio siku ya kuzaliwa Yesu Kristo. Jesus was conceived in June. Yesu ali mimba yake ilipatikana mwezi wa sita Was he born in December? Je, alizaliwa mwezi wa kumi? Was he six months old? Je, alikuwa na miezi sita The Bible says all his days were fulfilled. Biblia inasema wakati siku zake zimetimia. That was a birthday for Baal the sun god. Hiyo ilikuwa ni siku ya kuzaliwa ya Baal Mungu jua. Ndio. We don't want those things but those are the facts. Hatutaki hayo mambo lakini hiyo hii. And then you are celebrating Christmas celebrating Alafu, birthday, and Christmas and you are very kuzaliwa, big and very proud. Na and you are worshiping. Na unaabudu a Roman Catholic God. Mungu wa Kirumi wa, ro, wa, wa Rumi ya Katoliki. Oh, oh you are with me now. Sasa hebu bishana na mimi. Why is it called Christmas? Kwa nini inaitwa Christ? And when they come to Christ they put X. Think na wanapofika kwa Kristo wanaweka X. Ni kwamba hatumtaki Kristo ni misa ya kumkataa Kristo. Cancel. Then we want a mass. Sasa ni misa ambayo hey. sisi tunamkataa Kristo. celebrating a mass. Na wewe unaenda kusherekea misa uh, uh. ya kumkataa Kristo. A mass. Misa. Uh, uh, and you say I'm not a Catholic. I came out of Catholicism. Na unasema Catholic. It is very easy to come out of Catholic, but Catholicism to come out of is another thing. Rahisi kutoka Catholic, lakini Catholic kutoka kwako ni jambo lingine.
I'm going to have few friends now. Nitakuwa na marafiki wachache sasa. No problem. Hamna shida. Hallelujah. Glory. Okay. Haya. And the sisters will run away from home because there's no meat. Na wadada watakimbia kutoka nyumbani kwa sababu hamna. He has not me a Christmas present. Hawajanitea zawadi. Hajanitea zawadi. Where is that in the world? Iko wapi hiyo kwenye neno? Who go bought for Mary a Christmas present? Ni nani alimlulia Mariamu zawadi ya Christmas? Who brought? Nani alileta? Ah ah. Hapana. Some of the things uh, we have taken them they like that like that. I leave that to your pastors. Naacha hilo kwa wachungaji wenu. They know what they have been telling you. Wanajua kila macho wamekuwa kiwambia. Mimi I'm just a visitor I'm, I'm passing by. Mimi ni mgeni tu ninapita. But I'm saying this. Lakini nawaambia hili We are trying to mix ourselves with the world. Tunajaribu kujichanganya wenyewe na ulimwengu. There is no separating line. Hatuna mstari wa kutenganisha. And yet there must be a distinct separating line. Na hata hivyo lazima kunapaswa kuwe na mstari wa kutenganisha kabisa. Between the world kati ya ulimwengu and the bright na bibi harusi that's why you are going to preach the message you sound you going to do build i know he was not joking najua alikuwa anatania he preached god is one calls for a total separation from ivy alisema neno la mungu linaita utengano mkamilifu kutoka kuja kuamini let's go back to the bible turudi kwenye biblia We are in the book of um, Numbers chapter 43. We are now on verse 52. Nipo mtakapofukuza wenyeji wote wa hiyo nchi mbele yenu, they inhabit but they are not the owners. Wao ni wenyeji lakini sio wamiliki. Ni wakaaji lakini sio wamiliki. And destroy all their pictures. Na uharibu picha zao zote. And destroy all their mortal images. Na uharibu sanamu zao za kuchongwa and quite black down their high places na kuvunja vunja mahali pao pote palipo inuka all those places of esteem the sections of trees where they would go and worship their gods pale mahali ambapo wanapaheshimu au vile vilinge ambavyo wanaenda kuabudia miungu yao mhm in verse 53 says sanamu sina tatu nasema and you shall dispossess the inhabitants of the land nani mtaishika hiyo nchi and dwell therein na kuishi humo for i have given you the land to possess it kwa sababu ninapa nchi muimiliki amen amen now listen sasa sikiza and you shall divide the land by the lot for inheritance among your families nani mtaigawanya hiyo nchi kwa kura miongoni mwenu miongoni mwa jamaa zenu and the more you shall give the more inheritance na hao walio wengi mtawapa urithi zaidi and the fewer you shall give less inheritance na walio pungu, punguka utawapa kupunguka kwao au wachache wachache shall be um, in a place where his lot falls kila mmoja urithi wake utakuwa mahali ambapo kura yake itaangukia amen According to the tribes of your fathers you shall inherit. Kulingana na kabila za baba zenu mtarithi. Now look at this one. Sasa tazama hii. Misali wa 55. Misali wa 55. But if you will not drive out the inhabitants of the land from before you, lakini kama hamtaondoa wenyeji wa hiyo nchi mbele zenu, then it shall come to pass that those which you let to remain of them that be and uh, I mean to remain of them um shall be pricks in your eyes ndipo hao ambao mtawasaza watakuwa kama sindano macho ni pepo au mwiba macho ni pepo so when your eyes are pricks you become blind wakati jicho lako linachomwa na mwiba unakuwa kipofu so they shall be pricks to your sight kwa hiyo hao watachoma macho yenu au kuona i know the people you come to church but you even don't know what you are looking for na hao ni watu ambao unakuja kanisani hujui unachotafuta 
you, you don't have anything you are seeing. Yeah. They will preach, you get nothing. Yeah. You don't even understand the Bible. You don't even understand the Bible. Yeah. You will never forget who you are. Yeah. And you are admiring them. 
na una unavionea shauku hiyo viapo au una unavutiwa na I want to borrow your shoes nataka niazime viatu vyako I want to borrow your dress nataka niazime nguo yako it's really beautiful dress ni nguo nzuri sana hiyo beautiful with demons yeah nzuri yenye mapepo Joshua 23:13 Yeye Joshua 23:13 Jioni hakika ya kuwa Bwana 
kwenu hata wafukuza tena mataifa haya mbele ya machenu bali watakuwa mtego kwenu na tanzi na mjeledi bali watakuwa mtego kwenu na tanzi na mjeledi mavuni mwenu na miiba machoni mwenu hata mtakapoangamia na kutoka katika nchi hii ambao Bwana Mungu wenu amewapatia Mataifa saba wameridhika hawana urithi wote na wamestarehe kwa Mungu
My, my dad is very strict. Baba yangu ni mnyofu sana. There's no way Kali. you can marry me. Hakuna namna unaweza kanioa unless you come to church. Labda uje tu kanisa. If you love me as you say, kama nipenda kama unavyosema, come to church. Njoo kanisa kwetu. Is that so? Yes. Je, ni hivyo tu? Ndio. Okay. Haya. Na the devil can become 99% believer. Just to take you to hell, no problem. He, the devil is not jealous. Satan is another way. That's why he's not even jealous when you come here and praise the Lord and you are living in another world. Dio mana hata haoni wewe kuna kwa kuja kuna sifu mungu halafu naishi na uzizi. And you see after he has got saved that day unaona baada ya kwamba yokolewa ile siku immediately get out haraka tu anaondoka her eyes are scary like an eagle looking for the other brother the, the, the other brother oh the other girl sasa macheke huyu huyu dada yanakuwa kama taya na huyu mtafuta ule ndugu anamwangalia the brother comes oh na ule ndugu anakuja oh you made it umefaulu umefaulu The prophet said, Nabi Ali said, Do you know that that is not a believer? You have brought him in church. You have brought him in the church. But she is not a believer. Because she didn't believe the word. So even when she is in the church, you have married a non-believer.
What am I saying? Mimi nasema nini? The prophet said, Nabii alisema, No believer should marry a non-believer. Hakuna mwaminiwe anapaswa kuwa ukolea na si amini. No believer. Hakuna mwaminiwe should marry a non-believer. Anapaswa kuwa ukolea na si amini. They should always marry believers. Yeah. Inapaswa tu wao waaminiwe. Hakuolea na mwaminiwe. You think you can hide and think now you brought him or her to the church. Na unajua kama that is for your own death. Time will come mm-hmm. that you want to, be, to have victory, you are not getting the victory. You will be pressed by something you are supposed to press. Yeah. You will be overcome by something you are supposed to be an overcomer. Now, Amen. We have to come to an uh, now now all three in your home what all the demons you have permitted to live in your house all the wrong music of the world all the wrong the world clothes Instead of 
are singing with your wife, you are quarreling with your wife. But there, Kuriba, you are a problem in his house. I think you are a demon. Now, I see how you people. Turning against the brother, a believer, because you have demons in you, Philistines are in you. And the Philistines is in you attacking the believer. Yeah. I, think, I think these are some of the foolish virgins here. Yeah. I, I, I just a bear in his house. This, <laughs> this one is just a bear here. Mm. Look at her. <laughs> and the process is moving, she's trying to move in the house prepared. <laughs> Look at her. That's what you are thinking. Look at her. Most that she's walking. Okay. <laughs> and the beginning, I, I sympathize with her. No, 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 no. She thinks she thinks she's beautiful. <laughs> now she's there and she's trying to prepare a good meal for me. I'm going to surprise her today. I'm not going to eat her food. Now she's trying to eat the food. Let me wait until she has put it on the table. Now then I'm going to say, I'm not going to eat. I'm not going to eat. <laughs> and then when she says, what is the problem, sweetheart? <laughs> what is the problem? Don't ask me. Don't ask me. You are part of the problem, Samson. <laughs> part of the problem. <laughs> yes. Do you know? Ever since you came in my life, <laughs> you are problems here. <laughs> now you are turning a child of God into the devil. Sasa <laughs> And the devil is smiling. He said, <laughs> I have anointed you to attack another one. Do you know you can even come from church? And all the demons that other people were repenting and casting entering you. God wants to heal me. He <laughs> <can> heal me. <laughs> and the preachers be praying. <laughs> the, the statement was put up your what?
Ndugu, unafurahia eh brother? Preach brother. Hubiri preach. Hubiri yeah, yeah. because he's hitting his wife. Kwa sababu hakuna ndugu anamgusa mke wake. Preach brother. Hubiri ndugu. Shetani hapa hapa iko hapa. Kasi hii kasi hii. Preach. Hubiri. Eh. Eh bana. Roe, but he's hitting you. Lakini kama unampiga yeye. Ni zuri sana. Because I'm going to feel a joke before me. You know what Job said? 
Najua yuko alisemaje? I've uttered words too wonderful and too beyond me. Nimeenda mashemu. Nimeenda maneno ya ajabu na yanao nivuka mimi sasa najisikia aibu. Once have I spoken but I cannot answer again. Nimeenda mara moja lakini siwezi. Now I realized it was not me speaking. Sasa na That word you are saying you will regret but you will do a lot of damage. Hilo neno nao sema utalitubia unalijutia lakini nitafanya uharibifu mkubwa. Let us stop being 
the Ephraimites and and, and Manassehites. Hebu tukome kuwa wakina Ephraim na wakina Manase. Wasting a lot of power on the words. Tukipoteza nguvu nyingi kwenye maneno ya mdomoni. Let's go to resisting the devil now. Sasa twende kwenye kumpinga shetani sasa. The land that remains. Ile nchi ina akida. Every believer here. Kila mwamini wa hapa. We una kitu fulani you have something. You there have some una kitu that fulani. That you are looking for. Ambacho nakitafuta. And you know I have not yet got it. Unajua bado hujakipata. That is the evidence that it is there. Huo ni ushahidi kipo. Because Amen. Kwa sababu you cannot feel fast if there is no water. Huwezi kuwa na kiu kama hakuna maji. The fast, the fast in you. Shauku kiu ndani yako is the evidence that there is water somewhere. Ni shahidi kuna maji mahali fulani. There is somewhere water. Kuna maji mahali fulani. And that water will quench the thirst. Na hayo maji ndio atakayotuliza kiu. If you are sick kama ni mgonjwa and you want healing. Na unataka uponyaji. That is the evidence that healing is yours. Huo ni ushahidi kwamba uponyaji ni wako kwako and you go for it na uende claim it udai possess it umiliki pray for it uombe seek god tafuta mungu you want the holy ghost unataka roho mtakatifu don't just begin telling people usiwaambie watu pastor mchungaji i want the holy ghost nataka roho mtakatifu that's what they were telling joshua hivyo si wale waambia we want the land tunataka nchi we want the land tunataka nchi and and joshua will say Go and possess the land. Nendeni miliki nchi. Me have shown you the land. Mimi nimeonyesha nchi. I've done my part. Nimefanya sehemu yangu. I've preached to you. Nimewahubiria. I've shown you how to receive the Holy Spirit. Nimeonyesha jinsi ya kupokea roho mtakatifu. Now you are coming to me. Sasa mnanijia nini? Pastor nifanyeje kupata kujaso na roho mtakatifu? How should I do pastor to give to receive the Holy Ghost? Wana fikiria mimi nagawa moyo mtu roho mtakatifu. Una fikiri mimi do you think that I can give Am I the one who pours? You want me to pour into the Holy Spirit in you? Unataka nikumwagie Roho Mtakatifu ndani yako? The Holy Ghost loves you more than me. Roho Mtakatifu anakupenda wewe zaidi yangu mimi ninavyokupenda. Because Jesus is the Holy Spirit. Kwa sababu Yesu ni Roho Mtakatifu. If he loved you, kama alikupenda, brother, he Dugu. loved you until he died for you. Alikupenda mpaka akakufia wewe. Until he came for you. Mpaka akakujia wewe. You we. had the word. Ulisikia neno. He brought you to him sala. Akakuleta kwake mwenyewe. Can't he give you the Holy Spirit? Je, hawezi kupa roho mtakatifu? Can't he change you? Hawezi kubadilisha? Can't he give you the victory? Hawezi kupa ushindi? Can't he start a revival fire in your heart? Hawezi kuanza uamsho kwa ajili yako? Can he start something new in you? Yeah, yeah. anaweza kuanza kitu fulani ndani yako. That which you are looking for. Ile unachokitafuta. Is already there for you. Hallelujah. Glory. And sister, dada, if you want to get married, that is a genuine cause. Hiyo ni ni sababu It's not a sin. Sio dhambi. Tell God. Mwambie Mungu. And when you tell him, believe him. Na ukimwambia mwambie. And thank him. Na umshukuru. And don't try to help God to help you. Na usijaribu kumsaidia Mungu kukusaidia wewe. When you try to help God to help you get married, God will get out. Unapojaribu kumsaidia Mungu kukusaidia uolewe, Mungu anaondoka. Na nakuachia wewe endelea na mimi unataka. And he leave you do what you want to do put it in his hands iweke mikononi mwake rest about it halafu pumzika relax kuhusu hiyo you be like hana kuwa kama hana when she presented her petition before god alipoleta jambo lake mbele za mungu au kesi yake she prayed and fasted and she knew everything is done alipofunga na kuomba akajua kila kitu kimeisha and eli said go and let god give you what is in your heart na Eli akamwambia yule kuhani nenda na Mungu akupatie kilichoko moyoni mwako. The Bible says Biblia inasema even half was changed. Hata uso wake ulibadilika. She relaxed. Akatulia akastarehe. It's as good as already done. Ilikuwa nzuri kama imeshatendeka. I am now waiting for the manifestation. Sasa niko tayari kwa madhihirisho. Do it in the right time. Fanya kwa wakati sahihi. Get what you want to get in the right time. Pata unachotaka kupata kwa wakati sahihi. I know demon will stand before you. Na hakuna pepo atasema mbele zako. I want to tell you that. Nakwambia hilo. But when you delay, unapochelewa until God has gone off. Mpaka Mungu sasa ametoka. Let me 
bring you the final statement. God will now judge you for not possessing the possession he allotted for you. Mungu sasa atakuhukumu kwa kutokumiliki miliki ambayo alikuwa amekupangia wewe. Let me just tell you this. Hebu niwaambie hili. The prophet said. Nabii alisema, if you are a believer, kama wewe ni mwaminio, and the Holy Ghost has come down. Na Roho Mtakatifu ameshuka chini. You know the pillar of fire is here. Na unajua nguzo moto iko hapa. And you leave this princess. Na unaondoka hapa mahali with your sickness. Na ugonjwa wako. When he was able to heal you in this place. Wakati alikuwa anaweza kukuponya wewe hapa. You tell God why you didn't get healed. Wewe utamwambia Mungu kwa nini hukuponywa? You will answer that. Utajibu hilo because he gave you that land for your possession. Kwa sababu alikupa hiyo nchi umiliki. He gave you that trial. Alikupa hilo jaribu so that it becomes a testimony. Ili lifanyike ushuhuda. And then glory will go back to his name. Halafu utukufu urudi kwenye jina lake. But because of your hand belief and doubt. Lakini kwa sababu kutoka kuamini kwako na mashati has remained a trial for many years. Imebakia kuwa jaribu la miaka mingi. That which was meant to be for a testimony and for glory becomes a curse and a byword. Kila ambacho kilikuwa kimemaanishwa kwa ajili ya kuwa ushuhuda sasa kinafanyika laana. God will ask you. Mungu atakuuliza. I permitted that disease to come on you because I knew that in you there was a seed of faith to get your healing. Niliruhusu ugonjwa uje kwako kwa sababu nilijua ndani yako kulikuwa na muhuri wa imani kwamba utaushinda huo ugonjwa. Now why weren't you healed? Sasa kwa nini hukupona? Can you choose me that I was not there? Je, unaweza kunishtaki kwamba sikuwepo pale? Can you tell me that I never reminded you to take your possession? Je, unaweza kuniambia kwamba sikukukumbusha uchukue miliki yako? Didn't you go to church and hear these things preached? Hukwenda kanisani ukasikia mambo haya kihubiriwa? Are you going to are you here to be a witness for the devil that my word doesn't work? Je, uko hapa ili uwe shuhuda wa shetani kwamba neno langu alifanyi kazi? Why? Kwa nini? Why are you not possessing the land? Kwa nini humiliki hiyo nchi? Why is it the church as triumphant and strong and powerful as supposed to be? Kwa nini kanisa halina nguvu na halina ushindi kama walikuwa nao mitume? Why are they breathing so full of love and respect for one another? Kwa nini wa ndugu hawana upendo mmoja kwa mwingine ila wanapigana dhidi ya mmoja kwa mwingine? I love the Lord. I love the Lord. Na unasema nampenda Bwana. Nampenda Bwana. I love the Lord. Nampenda Bwana. Lord, the Lord, the Lord. Bwana Bwana Bwana. And then you don't greet one another. Halafu hamsalimiani. Who benefits from that? Anayefaidika kutoka kwenye kutoka kusalimiana kwa Is it God who benefits? Je, ni Mungu anayenufaika? It's the devil. Ni shetani. Why did you have a ministry that benefits the devil? Kwa nini ulikuwa na huduma ambayo ilimpa manufaa shetani? You see what we have achieved by coming us together today? Je, mnaona tulichofanikisha kwa kuja pamoja hapa? How God has blessed us? Jinsi Mungu ametubariki? How God has spoken to us? Jinsi Mungu amenena na sisi? And I want to tell you. Nataka niwaambie. Somebody is going to go back with a testimony. Mtu from this place. Ataondoka kurudi na ushuhuda kutoka mahali hapa. Somebody. Mtu fulani. Is going to go change. Atabadilishwa. Somebody will say from that day from that day something happened why they came together they closed their churches they said let's go come together and, and then God will do something God loves it Mungu anapenda hivyo when he sees his children valuing him above themselves Anapoona watoto wake wakimthamini yeye kuliko wao wenyewe. I will end there. Taishia hapo. This is a sermon I can preach seven times. Haya ni mahubiri ambayo naweza nikahubiri mara saba. But I have not even touched half even a quarter of my notes. Sija vuka hata zaidi ya nusu ya nuku nilizonazo hapo. But I want to say this friends. Lakini nataka niseme hili marafiki. There is a lot that we are yet to possess. Kuna mengi ambao bado hatujayamiliki. Think think about perfect love. Fikiria kuhusu upendo mkamilifu. 
And you remember God told the prophet, nothing shall enter there without perfect love. Na unakumbuka Mungu alimwambia nabii, hakuna kitakachoingia pale bila upendo mkamilifu. And perfect faith. Na imani kamilifu. It takes your faith. Inahitaji inagharimu imani yako. It is Christ in you. Inagharimu Kristo ndani yako. This is not a time to be a wish worship back upon blessed believer. Huu sio wakati wa kuwa mwaminio wa kuyumbishwa yumbishwa ambeni vugu vugu. You must be a believer with a backbone. Inapaswa wewe mwaminio mwenye uti wa mgongo. Your shoulders high. Na mabega yako yakiwa yameinuliwa. When you are going to fight the enemy. Unapoenda kupigana na adui. You don't go looking so miserable and low. Au wewe ukiwa unaonekana mdhaifu. And then supporting yourself with a stick. Umeweka na fimbo kabisa hivi. Njoo sasa come let us fight. Let us fight now. You even ignore the pain in your back and you stretch for yourself. Unapuzia hata maumivu ya mgongo wako unasimama hivi unaambia wewe ni nani? You shake yourself. Na unajitikisa. This is not a time to be weak churches, weak believers. This is a time to exercise your faith. Yes. Faith is a fact but faith is also an action. Imani ni ukweli lakini imani pia ni kitendo. How many want to claim their land? Claim their possession. Stand on your feet today. I say, Lord. I claim my promises. I claim all. Perfect love. Tell him what you are claiming now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we are here. Standing before you. Looking at the reality of your word before us and the things that you have spoken to your children, dealing with our weaknesses, dealing with our compromise, dealing with our failures, dealing with our Lord inconsistencies, doubts, failures. God, demons that have been plaguing the church of God, schisms, divisions, hatred, fighting one another. We are here, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And I pray that God, you will come down. That Lord, you will look down on us. That from the corridors of heaven, you will come down in the power of your resurrection. You will come down in the power of your resurrection. Hallelujah. God, that you will release the fire. Release that anointing, Lord God, upon your children. Let the fire fall. Sweep over us. Sweep over us. Sweep over us, Lord God. Let the glory of God come this day, Lord God. And let it be that God, you will feel your simple heart. You will change and transform your simple heart. Lord, in the name of Jesus, come down, Lord God, and fall. Let it be that God, the powers of darkness and the forces of wickedness will be defeated, Lord God. And the glory of God will move and the church of God will be on fire. Lord, that you will bring us to what we are supposed to do. That you will quicken us. That you will mold us. That you will show us your glory. Your love, divine power. Quickening your own. Molding your own. And raising your Lord God's standard against the enemy. 